Hi, Chica. I've arrived at the cafe. I have been waiting for a little bit now. Are you coming? You haven't left the house yet. Okay, hurry up. I will wait for you. Those were some examples of the present perfect simple tense. But what is the present perfect simple tense? Let's go back to the classroom and talk about it. Welcome back, everyone. Today we are going to talk about the present perfect simple tense. Before we begin, please like and share this video to help our channel grow. Don't forget to subscribe for free English lessons that come out every five days. Let's get started. The present perfect simple tense is used to talk about events in the recent past that still have an effect on the present moment. It is formed with have and a past participle. We will be talking a lot about participles in this video. If you would like to review a little about participles, we have a video that covers it. It should pop up right about here. Let's explain the present perfect simple tense through some examples. The present perfect can be used to talk about the past in a number of different ways. One way to use the present perfect simple tense is to give new information or news. Another way is to talk about a repeated action that continues to happen over a period of time. The present simple tense can also be used to talk about an event that started in the past and is still happening now. Let's look at how to form the present perfect simple tense. Forming the present perfect simple tense is easy. We start with the subject, follow with have or has, then the past participle, followed by the rest of the sentence. I have, you have, we have, they have, he has, she has, it has. Let's check out some examples. Look, I've cooked a pizza for us. You haven't washed the dishes, they're dirty. Have you cleaned up the living room? Joe has just washed the dishes. In past videos, we talked a little about participles. A participle is a word based off of a verb that expresses a state of being, ending in a present tense or past tense that functions as an adjective. Since the present perfect simple uses past participles, we will learn about the two types of past participles. Regular past participles, irregular past participles. Let's go through the regular past participles first. Regular past participles are easily formed by adding ed to the base form. English has a lot of irregular past participles, which sometimes look very different from its base form. It is important not to mix up past simple forms with past participles. This is the past participle of C. This is the past simple form of C and shouldn't be used in perfect tenses. Let's go talk about the present perfect simple be and go usage. I haven't seen Aaron recently. I wonder where he is. Oh yeah, he's gone to Australia. Chica? Are you okay? You look tired. You've been looking for me this whole time? Oh 
Oh my gosh, let's go home. I'll pick up food for us and you can relax. While I go and pick up some food, let's look at how to use go and be with the present perfect simple tense. Be and go are both used in the present perfect to talk about going somewhere, but they have different meanings. He is still in Australia. He went to Australia, but now he is back home. Let's look at some examples. Where's Chica? She's gone to the mall. You look so relaxed. Yes, I've been to the spa. It was great. Where's Aaron? He's gone surfing. Your hair looks great. Thanks, I've just been to the barber. Where's Chica and Joe? They've gone to see a movie. Where have you been? I've been to visit my friend at the restaurant. I think I'm going to be here for a while. Let's talk about the present perfect simple and the past simple tense. The past simple is used to talk about something that happened at a definite time. A specific date, 2010, is given, so the past simple is used. There's no specific date, so the present perfect simple tense is used. Let's check out some examples. I saw a great movie last week. I haven't seen that movie. Joe didn't climb Mount Fuji last year. Chica has climbed Mount Fuji twice. Joe ate too much last night. Chica hasn't eaten cauliflower before. English is a very interesting language with many subtle differences depending on where you are located. There is a big difference between U.S. English and U.K. English. George Bernard Shaw, the Irish playwright, said the British and the Americans are two great peoples divided by a common tongue. That is certainly true when it comes to the present perfect tense. U.S. English often uses the past simple tense. U.K. English often uses the present perfect tense. Here you can see the U.S. English version uses the past simple eight. The U.K. English version uses the present perfect I've eaten. Here again we can see U.S. English uses the past simple. UK English uses the present perfect. I hope that helps. Welcome back. It was kind of a long lesson. You did an amazing job following along. If anything was a little confusing to you, it's okay. Some things take time to understand. You will get it. Don't give up. Try to think of some ways to create present perfect simple tense phrases. See you next time. I wonder if Chica is relaxing. <laughs>